Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like. Alright, let's see what else is going on here for you, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Oh, you got two cards here. Alright, you've got to know it's not the right time and you have let go. Make room for... The new beginning on its way to you now. Okay, Virgo. So, there is someone here who is not ready. Um, they are letting go of something, okay? Either letting go of the relationship or letting go of the idea. They're opening, the, there might be something new coming in to another person and it's not the right time. Okay, somebody is traveling. There's a high priestess, but they're not seeing anything to you, okay? They're traveling for work, okay? So there is a situation going on here where someone is not, it's not the right time for some kind of a relationship um, due to they have other commitments and it feels like because of the Eight of Pentacles that may be a work thing here, okay? So, um... They can't connect with you during this time period from now through January. Um, they're keeping really secret, though. They're not saying anything. No. I want to get a clarifying card for the High Priestess. Why not tell you that? They're saying it's not the right time to you, but I feel like it's because they have something else going on. They're not telling you because um, they don't want to put a burden on you. Or um, they're just saying, no, this is not a good time. They're not telling you why. I don't know why. They don't want to cause stress. Hmm. Wait a minute. There we go. I feel like this is going to be one of those real truth readings here. I really do. Okay. So, all right, this is what's happening. So this person wants to have some type of new love start with you or, a chi or to have a child with you or you know the ace of cups can be marriage and, and it could be like a, it's like a potential they see a potential here for you and them to go you know that distance with each other in a romantic way they have some type of a commitment they might have commitments to their kids um or other family stuff going on maybe an, another person that they are just they can't start this thing with you right now is what I feel. <clears throat> I don't feel like there's anything else going on with that. It's not like, I don't feel like there's any lies or deception about this. I don't feel like this person is, um, it's because of somebody else in like another romantic interest. Um, they have some type of commitment maybe to a father or father figure or a boss, um, a work thing, um, they're, you know, the, the whole, oh, they just said, this person may tell you, I can't now, and I don't want you to wait. Um, you know, if somebody else comes into your life that you want to go with, do it. Um, keep yourself open to someone else. They may, they may have told you that, or they're telling you that, um, because they're just heavily burdened. They can't do this thing with you right now this love thing that's really like the biggest message i'm getting yeah they're 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 going to be away a lot or they are away a lot uh, it's either due to it's some commitment that they have either due to work finances um or a, a or like a a boss or someone in a in a position of authority to them the courts could be legal, um, could be uh, someone else, like an ex that has put high demands on them. Okay, the tower. So I feel like this person, you know, this is a tough reading, but I, I feel like this person is 
pretty much trying to say to you, don't wait for me. That's really the biggest message. They're saying, don't wait for me. Let someone else come into your life. I just can't do this right now. I, I can't do it now. Can I do it later? Maybe. And if you're still available. And if I'm not available, uh, maybe. But they see. Listen, Virgo. This person with the Ace of Cups here. I mean, they do see that, that there's such a huge potential here with you you guys could be at a distance as well with the chariot uh, let me see there's aries here so you could be dealing with an aries you got a scorpio there we have the three of pentacles here could be related to um their children if they have children it doesn't matter they could be little they could be older grown there could be grandchildren um uh, something to do with either work in a school and they're they like in like they just uh, it doesn't really matter it just feels like this person's not able to meet your need there's great potential and they see it for something here to go forward with you yeah i feel like this person is just kind of going to go silent you know if they aren't already and i don't feel like it has anything to do with you or that you're not good enough or that you're not wonderful. They see wonderful things about you, you know, um, how you are as a person. It feels like it's a timing thing. Okay, the Ace of Wands. It feels like mostly it's a timing thing. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay. Oh, I'm just hearing, um, oh, they have a lot of stress about, they feel like maybe they led you on or they will, if you've been dating this person or, um, going forward, I do feel like they flirt. They may have, they will flirt with you and things like that, but see, it's another ace. So that still tells me that it's just nothing more than a potential at this point. I feel like this person um, really gets excited when they hear from you, like when you message them or when you um, or they message you, they hit, they get like very uh, giddy. I'm just, they just gave me the word giddy. They get like super excited when they hear from you. Um, and when they don't hear from you, they, they kind of stress out a little bit. So it feels like this person, the most that they can do is maybe just communicate back and forth, text messages, phone calls, FaceTime, whatever you do, right? Um, but it feels like that's their limit in this connection here. And that, I don't know how you feel about that. I don't know if that's something that you want um, or if you're okay with that. You have cancer as well, so it could be a cancer that you're connecting with um if you meet this person going forward i feel like if you know what you're looking for if you're dating and you know what you want um try not to get caught up in someone that's very indirect try to get some kind of understanding of where this person is because you might meet this person um and get kind of not saying anything to them, you know, and just kind of trying to read the room with them to see if they want to turn it into something more. And if they're indirect and you're not getting like a straight answer, because some people, oh my goodness, what is that? Some people don't want to give a straight answer. They want to still kind of communicate and hold on. Somebody is like sawing. Somebody is sawing, really? Like it's raining out. It's winter. Who the heck is... Do you hear that? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so I feel like this person um, might be indirect and might want to still kind of just keep communicating and flirting back and forth and not tell you that they can't... Not tell you that they can't commit in anything long-term because they have other priorities or commitments. But they don't want to tell you that because then they won't have the co your company. So... Yeah, if that's not going to work for you, Virgo, you know, um, some of you might be like, oh, that's fine. That's all. I can't give much more either. Um, 
and I'm fine with us just flirting back and forth and keeping some keeping each other company and I don't need anything very serious right now and if I meet somebody else then yeah then that will be that so but I feel like maybe they weren't direct with you and also I do feel like either they weren't or they won't be and they will keep trying to um so if you start dating this person or talking to them and then you ask them um you know to go forward they if they are direct they might say i just can't right now but they're they don't want to lose this connection here they, they won't want to they'll want to i don't know it's only a string along if you allow it and you have hope for something more then then you place the label that they're stringing you along if they're not direct right if they're if they're being indirect, then they're just being a jerk. But you also have to ask Virgo. You can't just read the room. You could and then make up your own mind. But you, if you're not sure, you should ask this person. Now, they might turn around and say, don't wait around for me. But they're going to kind of hover still. I feel like they're going to stick around. So it might be one of those scenarios where you might you have to figure out what it is that you want. Are you going to walk away? Or just temporarily, like, just be like, nah, we'll come back, maybe address another time or see how you feel later, or if things change for you later. Um, or you might just patiently wait until the time is right, right? Somebody could say, no, this is not the right time. Open yourself up to meet somebody else. Um, but it's that's your decision, not theirs, you know? you know um if it's not the right time then that's they're owning that but to tell you what you need to do with that is up to you okay we have pisces here so yeah virgo it just kind of feels to me like this person is lacking the capability to make something go even like further to be to go where you want it to go if you don't want it to go anywhere well then you're okay with the way it is then until somebody else comes along sure do what you need to do for you okay so you have the two of cups there definitely is a good connection here though between you and this person i see or at least will be okay there is um like two like-minded individuals there's there is something that keeps or will keep you two communicating still that's part of the reason why this person um will not be ready to let you go fully okay even though there's i see them saying this is not a, this is not the right time right now for anything more there is something special here about the connection there's um maybe even a good friendship or there is, um, a, again, Two of Cups is still a potential, potential romance to blossom. Yeah, I just kind of get a sense that, if anything, it might be something where you both decide, well, we'll just be friendly and nothing more and, and see how things turn out later. Okay, that's the most of the message I'm getting here. And then, you know, pick a lane. This is the two of wands is always like, all right, Virgo, you need to pick a lane. Pick a lane and stick with that lane. You know, like when you're driving down the highway, <laughs> you know how those people are like, okay, they're in the left lane and they're in the right and then they're, they're weaving in and out. Um, that's very unstable. Pick up where you want to be. Pick a lane. You want to drive down the left lane and hold up traffic? doing 40 miles an hour and deal with all the honkers and the annoyed people that's up to you <laughs> you know or do 80 who cares it's up to you. you you definitely need to make a decision though i feel about you know what you want to do and i see you getting to that place where you're just like hmm okay let me see let me figure out here's my gift to you I'm going to hang out with you and if things change that's great and we'll still have a great friendship or um, I'm not going to save a space for you. I'm going to go find somebody else that's in alignment with me. That's all. And that's clarity. So that's what I feel like you get this clarity about the whole scenario, about the whole situation. You get truthful and honest with yourself. Cut the BS, Virgo. Get truthful with yourself. And don't let your emotions hold you back. Right? All right. Uh, good luck. <laughs>